Hi guys, just a quick video. I'll give you some tips on how to mount uh, extra glow plug. Zoom out a bit. Okay. Right. Well, your glow plug is a 10 mil thread. That's a 10 mil, but it's a 1 mil pitch. Yeah, so you're going to need to get yourself some of these. This is a number two, as in cutting ability. As you can see, the edges of it, the beginning edges are quite rounded off, so it does give you the ability to get the thread started. Um, you'll also notice that when you try to get a tap in there, like after you drug your hole, yeah, this bloody thing's in the way, yeah. And if you do bend it out of the way, you're going to have a right pain trying to get it back to where it used to be. So, find yourself a piece of rubber. It's quite springy, yeah. So you can just get it slightly out of the way without it actually bending, yeah. So there is a bend element to it before it takes on that form. So just use a piece of rubber, block it up, and keep it out of the way. You're going to need, I've got a long one here, but you don't need something this long. But as you can see, no, you can't see. Hold on. Go that way. No, that way. Yeah, you need to be able to tap it and clear that pipe. Obviously, if you put your tap on there in a normal manner, yeah, with your T bar across the top. You're only going to get half a bite at a time, not even a quarter of a bite. That's a right pain. You're also going to need a huge selection of drills. Yeah, you're going to need to start off with like an eighth drill. Yeah, an eighth. Then I think I went up to four mil. Then I went up to six mil. Yeah. And six, six mil, you want to go all the way through with a six mil because if you look at the tip on a glow plug, that's the bit that's going to be sitting right in the middle of the chamber. So make sure your six mil goes all the way through. So when you do go to fit your glow plug in, you don't snap the top of it off by hitting on something. So make sure you drill that all the way through. You're going to need a huge selection of drills, yeah, and a drill sharpener if you got one, because, I mean, this one was a monster. The others have been a lot simpler, but this casting, I don't know what it's made of, some form of cast iron, and it really kills your drill bits, so you're going to have to keep sharpening your drill bits, yeah, bit by bit by bit, and you want to come up to... If you can find some old Imperial drills, yeah, that measure up around 9.25, let's have a look at this one. Oh, that's right guys, that's it, you're going to fall off the bench, aren't you? Yeah, you want... Okay, that's a 9mm, yeah. So you want to approach really approaching the 9.25, 24, let's check this one, yeah, okay, 944, I think that's an old imperial drill, but that's perfect, absolutely perfect, so, you, want, you also want to mark it with a marker pen to start with, obviously, but you want to cut, you don't want to hold, you don't want to go up to 9.5, yeah, if you go up to 9.5, you're going to hardly have any thread in there at all. Because you've only got you've only got to wiggle it slightly and it, the hole's got too big. Yeah, so do it at 9.25, then start your cutting of your thread. Yeah. Now, there's my old burn chambers. Let me see if I can find them. Oh, I'm going to put them behind me. Let me show you what you're drilling through. I'm going to get some light on that. Can you actually, let's see if I can find a little pick. Is there a pick there? OK, 
show you now. That's okay. Let me show you in the old. Right. This stainless steel bit. Yeah. That you can roll around. Yeah. That is the, the sod that is a clean to clean. That bit in there. So once you've drilled a hole in it, you'll you can see like you've got a little cut out there. So they must have done that little cut out in the galls there to allow the juice to flow through. Yeah, so that's clearly not the right place. Let's see if I can find a tool to make life easier. Let's take it outside. Put out a light. Okay, can you see it now? I put on a barrel. Here we go. Daylight. Stay there. Um, we have a look at this gauze. It's very strange material. It's like it's like asbestos intermeshed with stainless steel. So right, go the wrong way. Go the other way. Okay, let's see if I can focus on that. You see what I mean? Even though it's it is very very clean. It's a strange material. There we go, like you can see me spinning it around. So this has come out of the ultrasonic cleaner. And uh, what did I do? Oh, caustic soda tank, reversing the polarity. And it's pretty clean. So you can get it clean, it's just such a weird piece of metal in there. Right, okay. Let's go back in here for a minute. But if you do bugger up the thread, it's no big deal because it's not going anywhere, is it? Yeah, it's going to be permanently held in there. So you can put some JB Weld around the outside. I mean, I put JB Weld around there just in case it um, started siphoning yeah, out of here. Yeah, and flooding its way, I thought it might allow juice to come back into the fan area, which I didn't want. Okay, that's about all. So, you're going to need one at least five inches long to cut the thread. And I'll say it once again, it's a 10 millimeter, and the thread pitch is one mil. So it's a very fine thread. And once you've done it, you can just whiz it in. You can see um, this is obviously a new one I'm setting up. I've already drilled a hole in the case, side of the casing. So I can put a rubber grommet there. Then I can come out the side. Yeah. And join it up with the other glow plug. That also does the same. That comes out of the fan chamber area. Then loops around to your motherboard. Yep. So I'm following the simple principle on that. Might be a bit of a sort to wiggle it in, but I'll let you know. Okay, bye for now.